Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to the preview of Liverpool versus Paris Saint-Germain. It is our opening game in this season's UEFA Champions League. We had heartbreak in Kiev uh, in the last season's competition and, you know, we're out for revenge this time. We're better equipped to go just as far this time and who knows, maybe one better. It's a very tough group. It's a very tough opening fixture. A very exciting opening fixture though, you know, I feel like, I mean, we haven't played PSG in such a long time. I mean, 1996-97 season's the last time we... Um, Competed with them, um, so I mean it's great to see you know the, the best front three in Europe uh, against the second best front three in Europe. You, you can decide which one's which. Although Bobby Firmino isn't going to be available by the looks of things, well, it's it's touch and go. Um, Klopp said that if the game was today, uh, Monday, then he wouldn't have been available. But tomorrow, Tuesday night, you never know. We might get to see him. But Daniel Sturridge uh, is ready and raring to go. Um, the guy who we all thought his Liverpool career was long. Uh, long over. He could well start against PSG in a huge glamour tie, the pick of the opening round of Champions League fixtures and pr probably the pick of the group stages altogether. Um, two of the favourites for the competition. PSG got knocked out by Real Madrid last season in the last 16. We obviously uh, lost them in the final um, and things didn't go our way through injuries and goalkeeping mistakes. Um, so yeah, I mean the bookmakers have got us as favourites and you know when you're playing against a team of PSG's calibre, you know the French champions, runaway leaders in, in Liga and you know the richest club in the world and with all that talent, all the, you know all the embarrassment of riches they've got, um, we are still 23 to 20 compared to their 11 to 5 so you know that just shows the form we're in, that shows how, uh, how the bookmakers feel about Liverpool this season. Um, so why would we not be confident? I'm always very nervous going into Premier League games, I mean as I said before for Spurs, I would have taken the draw at Wembley um, because, I don't know, maybe it's just something in me, the fact we've not won the Premier League since it got renamed. Uh, maybe it is just the nerves of that, whereas in Europe I feel like there's a bit more freedom. I know it is important, but I think if you ask anyone what, ch what competition would you rather win, most people would say the Premier League. So, with that in mind, when you play a Champions League fixture, especially the first of six in the group, you're not quite as nervous. So I'm going to go into this game and just enjoy it. That is, I mean, this is what we're in it for. We're against one of the best sides in Europe. It's going to be under the lights at Anfield. One of those, you know, great European nights potentially, as a cliche goes. Um, so, you know, in the cop end, what is there not to look forward to about this? I'm, I'm even nervous about Southampton. I'm nervous about Chelsea. Way I'm nervous about every league game there is because that's the one that I'm going to lose sleep over every single night. But let's just love this one. So, I mean, tactically, you would expect us to both line up in a 4-3-3. As far as our starting lineup is concerned, um, I don't think we're going to make too many changes. Uh, you know, I know rotation is going to become very important as the fixtures come thick and fast now. But, you know, the back five is looking very settled at the moment. Um, the front three, obviously, for me, you know, being injured is no um, nothing to be joyous about. But... Uh, the rest of the front three, we all need to click. We need to start getting that rhythm because, as as we're still saying, even though we've won five games out of five and not been in danger of losing any of them, really, uh, the front three are not firing in all cylinders. Even to the point where some people are commenting on Sadio Mane's Instagram posts, having a go at him for being selfish and, you know, rumours of a... Well, not rumours, not even rumours, but speculation among fans of Mane being jealous of Salah and what have you. And people still going on about Jordan Henderson being crap and... Um, moaning about Fabinho not playing, so we're still finding things to moan about, or people are anyway, I'm absolutely loving it, uh, but people are still finding things to moan about, so we do need to click, we do need to improve performances, even though defensively we're so solid and we have navigated some really tricky fixtures already at this stage of the season, and I think 15 points from the first five league games is more than any of us would have even dreamt of, I think, you know, if you'd have offered me 11 or 12, I'd have said, yes, please. We've got 15 uh, and we're not conceding many goals at all. We've conceded a goalkeeper mistake at Leicester and a sloppy stoppage time goal, which was just a consolation at Spurs. So, you know, we're coming up against Mbappé, Neymar and Cavani here. Not to mention the likes of Di Maria who could play in midfield and, you know, all the other attacking talent they've got in reserve. You know, Draxler on the bench, all, plenty of options. So... You know, I mean, this is going to be as tough as it gets. A huge test for our young defence. I mean, Trent Alexander-Arnold, you know, the, t the young right back who's come from absolutely nowhere to play for his country at the World Cup, to play in the Champions League final, to be first team in this colossal Liverpool side. Andy Robertson, who was at Hull a couple of years ago. These guys are now on the biggest stage. Joe Gomez, whose career looked finished 18 months ago, you know. He looked absolutely shot when we played Wolves in that Champions League game. Uh, uh, FA Cup game rather and now he's here playing centre back alongside the most expensive defender ever Virgil van Dijk who is leading us to glory with Alisson behind him um, and you know if anyone's going to keep out this PSG attack 
Uh, it is going to be the Liverpool defence. I know it costs a lot of money to assemble with Van Dijk and Alisson, but the guys, Gomez, Trent and Robertson, are far from expensive and should all be proud of themselves that they're playing such a key role in this Liverpool side. Now, midfield is obviously, as is the case every single week, where the most headaches are for Jürgen Klopp. What do you want to see this time? And I know you're going to say Fabinho, and I know a lot of the reasoning is going to be because he's a former Monaco player and knows all about PSG, and look, I can see that logic. But And you are going to say to me, it's going to come to a point, or if this isn't the time to throw him in, then when is? But this is still a huge game. And as much as I'm saying I'm not nervous for it and I'm excited, if we do lose this one, we've got to go to Naples and we've got to get a result, really, you know? Um, you, you have to look at the... This, no disrespect to uh, Red Star Belgrade. Uh, I'm sure they're a good side and they're champions of their country, Serbia. But we've got to look at those two games as six points. You've got to look at Napoli at home as three points, really, if we're going to qualify. You've still got to get three points in another one, or at least a draw in another game. So you've got to go to Paris Saint-Germain away, Napoli away, two bloody tough places to go. So this one already is probably a game you need to get something from. And at Anfield, obviously we didn't lose any games at Anfield last season in the Champions League, um, nor in the Premier League, so, you know... On the biggest stage, in the biggest competitions, we are absolutely fine at Anfield and we score so many goals in this competition as well. But if Firmino is injured, if he can't play, then suddenly it becomes a bit disjointed and a bit, well, just completely different. I mean, as much as I love Daniel Sturridge, it's a completely different type of player. It's not necessarily a step down, it's just a step in a completely different direction. He's not going to drop as deep, he's not going to work as hard, he's going to play on the shoulder, you know, he's, he's going to you know, roam a bit more, he's gonna, he'll drop deeper at times, but he's not gonna go and win the ball back on the halfway line, you know? Um, he might occupy that number 10 role and allow uh, Mane and Salah to bomb on. It, it's, it's slightly different, uh, even if he isn't a traditional poacher. Um, so yeah, we have to alter our tactics, unless we go with Shaqiri or, or, or another midfielder, I honestly don't know what we'll do, but it's gonna be fascinating anyway. Um, PSG have been faultless so far this season, as have we. I know our games are a lot dif more difficult, um, but you, see, you know you still really can't separate us. So it's a tough one to predict. I mean, you have to predict goals. You have to predict goals on both sides because of the absolute you know masses of talent that we've each got. Um, so you know if you're going to push me for a prediction, I am going to pick us to win. I think the Anfield factor. I think these this mob of PSG stars won't have experienced anything like Anfield. They're not um, exactly. Uh, they haven't exactly got the best record in the Champions League. You know, they were swept aside by Real Madrid, to be honest, last season. They bottled it against Barcelona when they should have won. So they do cave in under pressure. They do cave in in the big atmospheres. And it doesn't get any bigger than Anfield on European night. So I am going to pick us to win the game. I think it would be high scoring. I'm, I'm going to say 3-1. Um, and yeah, that would set us up for a great European campaign. What do you guys think? And what do you want to see in midfield? I, I, I think... You know, I don't like changing too much, but I, I am aware of all the fixtures coming up. And I've got to look ahead at Southampton, which, you know, Klopp will look at each game as it comes. Um, there's no such thing as a priority, but he'll have Firmino back for Southampton. Um, he'll have the defence. He'll have, well, he'll have a, a, the pick of the midfield. You know, Jordan Henderson came on against Tottenham. He didn't start. And, you know, Wijnaldum was, you know, I thought he was pretty poor at Leicester, but boy, did he come back into action against... Uh, Spurs and he was great in his first three games not so great at Leicester but I mean he was great at Spurs so I mean he's, you have to call him one of the standout players so far I kind of want him to play um, Naby Keita hasn't been brilliant um, so you know if he had to sit this one out you know I could live with that Milner has been sensational I just want to uh, you know I just want to see the guy play football every single time I turn up to Anfield you know um, so you know I'm not against the uh, Henderson Milner Vinalda midfield three um, I'm not against Fabinho playing. If he played, I'd be excited to watch him. Uh, if Keita played, then great. We've got to play him into form because you know he's, he's he's trudging along at sort of seven out of ten at the moment. But we know he can do better than that. Um, you know we, we've all seen the clips from his Leipzig days, and we all saw the West Ham and Palace games where he was at that level. But he's dropped off slightly. I don't want to criticise him. You know he, he he's not been poor. He's not been noticeably poor. Um, but yeah, he's not he's not creating as many goals as, as 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 he will go on to do later on this season. So let's hope that form starts very soon. Uh, and let's hope Liverpool keep this momentum going because it's, you know we don't fear anybody at the moment. PSG, bring them on. Anybody that comes to Anfield, bring them on. Anywhere we've got to go, we'll go there and march in there and smash anyone that's in front of us. We've proved that at Spurs. We should have won 5-0. And let's hope we can prove that against PSG. So my prediction, we're going to win 3-1. My goal scorers are Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and James Milner. Um, 
So yeah, my, my prediction for the PSG scorer. Let, let's see Neymar score a goal down the field, why not? 3-1 to the Reds, those are my predictions, that's my thoughts. Leave a comment of yours, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I'll be there tomorrow night in the Cop End at Anfield, so make sure you're on Instagram and make sure you're uh, keeping your eyes peeled for the vlog, which hopefully will be up straight after the game, if not the following day. Um, and yeah, see you all soon.